Welcome to the part 7 of the series on volume spread analysis, no demand bar. We have been looking at the signs of weakness so far and we have looked at the buying climax, the upthrust bar, the pseudo upthrust bar, effort to fall bar or effort to move down bar, the two bar reversal and now we are going to look at the no demand bar. Let's start looking at the sign of weakness signal no demand bar. Obviously, it's a bearish or the signal of weakness. This signal prevents or indicates that no further up move can be expected soon. Now let's look at the definition. By definition, it is a narrow spread bar. It is closing on the upper half. It is closing on the either on the 50% or above the 50% of the bar length. And the volume will be low. In technical sense, it will be lower than the volume of the previous two bars. Now, let's look at the interpretation of the nodes on the no demand bar. The no demand bar indicates that the smart money has stepped away temporarily. It means that the smart money has seen some weakness and they have stepped back temporarily so they can enter again back in a more opportune time. It appears in an uptrend when the uptrend pauses or retraces till the smart money decides to step back in. It also appears in a congestion zone. If it appears in a congestion zone, it indicates that upside is unlikely very soon. We may find this bar in a downtrend as well. In a downtrend, these do not carry much significance. It only adds to the existing weakness. Now, what do we look for when we see the no demand bar? Always look at the background. Look if the prices have been trending up or the prices have been moving down or even if it is moving sideways. If the prices were trending up and if the next bar is a down bar, it confirms the weakness and we will see more downside. If the prices were trending up and if the next bar is an up bar, it obviously negates the weakness of the no demand bar. The weakness is more likely if the no demand bar happens in an area of previous weakness. That is, if the no demand bar appears in a previous rejection zone, obviously the weakness will be more this time as well. Because the smart money is sensing that we are in a rejection zone and rejection could happen and they sense weakness, they will step back and obviously the prices will come down again. If the prices were moving sideways, then it does not matter if the next bar is a down bar and up bar. The conclusion will be that we cannot expect much upside soon. And as I said, if it is in a down bar, we don't bother much because it only adds to the existing weakness and we have to look at for signs of strength in a down side. Now let's look at some examples, real life examples of the no demand bar. In this example, we are going to look at a no demand bar that did cause weakness. So I have the 
chart of Berger Paints. It's a daily chart. And as usual, I am using the replay mode for better illustration. So our chart starts on the 26th of July, 2022. So let's see how the further prices play out. The prices were moving sideways. Here there is an attempt to move up. Here is a good effort to move up on a high volume. Again it is moving up. Some sideways moves. Looks like another attempt to move up. The next bar you can see it fits perfectly into the definition of a no demand bar. It is a narrow bar closing on the upper half and the volume as you can see is lesser than the previous two bars. So this one perfectly fits the definition of a no demand bar. Now let's see how the prices move whether it causes weakness or the weakness is getting negated. The next bar is a down bar indicating weakness. The next bar is a widespread down bar closing at the bottom. So again profound weakness, more weakness, some sideways move, a little attempt to move up but that has failed. And the prices are moving more sideways than down. So as you can see this no demand bar did cause the weakness and the prices came down. So here is where the smart money decided to really step back fully. Now let me add our favorite indicator VPA 5.0. The VPA indicator clearly says that it is a no demand bar. So there is no second guessing whether it is a no demand bar. It clearly indicates that it is a no demand bar. And then all the weaknesses came in. Now what did we see? We have to look at the background when we see this bar. So if we had looked at the background, these was indeed moving up. But as you can see there was a BC bar here indicating weakness which was negated by the next bar. Then again an attempt to move up but there is a long wake indicating selling. The next bar again is moving up but again a long wake indicates selling. So it moves sideways and we see a no demand bar here. The next bar is not a down bar. So again an attempt to move up, maybe this was the last attempt to move up, but again the no demand bar. Here is where the smart money looking at the background weakness decided to step back and the prices came down. Now let us look at what was happening previously here. We saw that in an area of weakness previous weakness this could be effective. So here you can see there was a congestion zone and the prices came down. There were three no demand bars and the smart money set back sensing weakness and the prices came down here. So let me draw the area of weakness here. So obviously the smart money was already seeing weakness in the up move. And it was entering this rejection zone or the area of previous weakness. They, uh, they decide to step back sensing more weakness would continue. So they decided to step back and the prices came down. So obviously it was an uptrend and it was entering an area of previous weakness. So this no demand bar did have its effect and then pushed the prices down back. Now if we look at this area, it was again in a congestion zone where 
the prices was moving down let me draw the congestion zone here so this was the congestion zone as you can see here here we have a no demand bar but the next bar was not a down bar so again an attempt to move but again you can see the long wicks and the more of sideways who indicate more weakness and here again a no demand bar and that pushed the price down so in the congestion zone it is clear that when we saw the no demand bar that we are not likely to see an upside very soon so obviously we have to wait for all these bars here almost a month of move sideways before we could see any upside move so as per our clear definition the no demand bar was quite effective when it was an uptrend and when it is in an area of weakness it acted and then pushed the prices down but in a congestion zone of course it did not push the price much down but of course it retreat, uh, retreated but we knew clearly when we saw this that we cannot expect much upside zone and uh, that was clearly indicated uh, here we took almost a month's time to move the prices up further now one question that would come to our minds will be what do we do if we see a no demand bar what action should we take if we see a no demand bar in a congestion zone we need not do anything because now we know that the upside is not likely soon so we need to wait with patience for the upside to happen and then make a proper entry for a good trade but if we see a no demand bar in an uptrend like this then what do we do especially if the next bar confirms the weakness like in this case the next bar was a down bar it is confirmed the weakness then what do we do so one thing we can do cuz this they will not find in any of the books or uh, you will not find it even in any of the paid webinars you would attend for the vsa this is my uh, own uh, practice uh, and i'm just sharing it with you what normally i would do is to look at the previous high volume bar in this case the previous high volume bar with a wide spread up move is this bar and i would take the low of this bar and i will draw a line here if one is more conservative you can go to this bar so you can see the volume was also quite high and it was an attempt to move up so you can also take for a conservative trader you can take the low of this bar as well so a break below this bar would be the safe exit point here would be the right exit point and you can see that you would have avoided a big top down drawdown here in this case and even in this case if you are a conservative uh, trader you would take this as the exit point and you here again you would have saved yourself lot of drawdown top drawdown so this is the one one of the tips which you can take when you are dealing with the no demand bar let me quickly take another example we'll take the chart of hdfc 
bank So here you are seeing a no demand bar and the next bar is an up bar, it doesn't confirm weakness but it is a narrow spread bar in the low volume and this bar confirms the weakness. So I would look for the previous high volume up bar or widespread up bar on a high volume. So this would be my safe exit point you can see here. So I would exit in, at this point when this line is broken. So you can save a lot of drawdown from this. So this is one tip you would never find in even paid seminars. This is the way I deal with uh, no demand bars. With this, we come to the end of this video. Let us quickly summarize what we learnt in this video. No demand bar indicates that the smart money has stepped aside and temporarily sensing weakness. Weakness comes in an uptrend. We can expect the prices to pause or move down. The subsequent bars can negate this weakness. In sideways moves, the no demand bar indicates that upside is unlikely soon. The next part we will start the signs of strength or the SOS. We will start with the selling climax. In order to get notified for the release of future parts of this series or future videos of this series, do subscribe to this channel. In case you find this video useful, please do press the like button. Thank you.